Miami for you. But we're going to talk college basketball to begin the show as Jay Holgate from NBCSportsReport.com is uh, joining us. Uh, nice enough to uh, share his time with us. And uh, Jay, hey, thanks uh, for joining us and uh, good Saturday morning to you. Good morning to you guys. It's, it's, it's still about 50 degrees here in Atlanta. so it... let's, uh, let, let's talk some college basketball here. No, obviously we've got to talk. Let's start off with the Florida Gators. I guess this is a team that maybe might be back on the bubble here. They play at Kentucky this week and tomorrow. Uh, do you see this team in the NCAA tournament? I mean, the loss at home uh, this past week uh, hurt them. And, boy, they got a tough assignment tomorrow uh, uh, playing Kentucky. But well, what are your thoughts about this Florida basketball team? I think, um, you know, this team is um, – they're, they're, they they tend to, to win or lose kind of on streaks. You know, it's it's two games winning, three games winning, and then they'll lose two games. Um, losing to Georgia here recently, I think that was hurtful. I think losing to Vanderbilt was hurtful. They, they, they still got two shots at it that are pretty good. And I think because it is Florida, because they have such a reputation of being champions, I think that, that they're able to be given a little bit more grace – than most schools would, and um, you know they're talking about Florida going, but they're not really talking about Mississippi State going, and their records are almost identical. So I think that says a lot for Florida. I think Florida's got two more shots at it. If they beat Kentucky on Sunday, which would be a, a big win, I think that that gets them in. Um, the other thing is, is if they play real well in the SEC tournament starting Thursday, I think they need to finish out maybe top two. Um, to, and if they do, I think that gets them in. Outside of that, I think it's a coin toss. Well, Jay, it's obviously the last week in a regular season play. Uh, conference tournament in the SEC begins uh, you know, next week. How many teams do you think will be at the NCAA tournament from the SEC this season? I tell you, I think I really think when it's all said and done, I think that we got uh, SEC has three teams in for sure with uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Vanderbilt. Those guys are definitely in. They all will will seed pretty high. I think Florida is the next choice if if they go to the SEC. Uh, Florida's you know they could have a good game tomorrow against Kentucky or get SEC game, I think they got a good chance to be in. The only other team that really would be considered would be Mississippi State, and, and they got to pay, play Tennessee today. So if they upset Tennessee today, which is possible, um, they're back in the, the running. I saw uh, Joe Lenardi with ESPN for his bracketology right now. He does have Florida in it, so that's a good sign. And, um, you know, he, he's on top of this stuff. So if he believes that they're going to be in it, I believe Florida's got a good chance of being there. So I, I think Florida fans, I think they should have hope and have faith going in through this weekend. And, and I agree with you, Jay. I think there's a really is going to be what they do in the tournament. If next weekend, if they can uh, uh, really solidify their spot in the tournament, and I mean, you know, in the middle of the pack where you really don't want to be on the bottom. And uh, I think it's all up to the tournament next week. Oh, I agree. And and they'll, uh, they'll be ready for it. The, since the games are back to back like that, I think you know it, it gives Florida an advantage. And I think that's going to help them because they've had a lot of Thursday Saturday games compared to some of the other teams that hadn't had a lot of Thursday Saturday. And uh, normally there's some travel involved in those Thursday Saturday games. So that's going to help them in the tournament too. Well, and I think I think their coach, I think he has the ability to step up for the big games. I think. He, you know, the games that they did lose to Georgia and South Carolina, I think they kind of got blindsided on those games. They, 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 um, they, they weren't focused like they needed to be. They were close losses, but um, I think they're going to be game on for for the tournament. And um, I, I think Florida, you know, they got as good a chance as anybody of winning that thing. So on any given day, Florida can beat anybody. So I, I think that they'll do well in the tournament. We're talking to Jay Holgate of NBCSportsReport.com. You're listening. Saturday morning sports blitz along with Dr. Z. Paul Chestnut on his list of money. Uh, Jay, I'd like to get your thoughts on Alabama. I mean, this past week, they won without uh, Michael Green. He sat out, was suspended. Great character went on the road at South Carolina. Of course, they've been struggling this year. First year uh, at coach at Alabama and Anthony Grant there. But, uh, they, you know, they, they play Auburn today. And it's obviously, you know, big game. And the, the two rivals there. And, and from what I understand, Green's going to be reinstated for the game. But just like to get your thoughts on, on uh, you know, the Bama 
basketball program there and the job that uh, Anthony Grant has done so far? I'm all I'm all about Anthony Grant. I think he's a great coach. I think that he um, I think he understands the game. I think he understands the discipline required of his players. I, I think that you suspend a player when they're not living up to the standards that they need to. This past week, you know, they had to go on the road to Columbia. They were down by 14 points at one point in that game, and and they did not give up. They kept fighting, and and when it was all said and done, they made all their free throws at the end of the game, which shows just a whole lot about a team. And they ended up winning by about 10 points. And, you know, South Carolina, they're the team that beat Kentucky. They've, um, they, they, they're, they're not a top-tier team, but on any given game, they can play with anybody. So I think that um, – I think Alabama's got a good future ahead of them. And, you know, I think that this season they had to make some adjustments. But I think that they got a good chance against Auburn today. And um, I, think, I think that the future's bright for Alabama. I think that Jeff Lebo needs a win today, you know, for all burning, plus a good show in the SEC to save his job. I don't know. Um, you know, I've been hearing that for a couple of years now. I, I, I think um, I think when you're a head coach, I think it's always a good idea to beat your uh, your rival. And I think it's real important. And so I, I do believe that, that they need to finish out strong. I don't know if his job's on the line or not. They, um, it, It's hard to say. I, I'm not... I'm not inside that program enough. You know, the, the deal is they brought in Gene Chizik this past year. Anything can happen. It really comes down to what the athletic director believes about the coach. And um, I, I think, you know, anything it, it's you just don't ever know about these guys. I, I think for Auburn, I think it's important to finish out strong. Um, they had a great game the other night, upset Mississippi State, and, and probably not Mississippi State out of going to the NCAA tournament. So I think that that's a positive step forward for them. Uh, obviously, if they beat Alabama today, that looks good. And then a good finish in the SEC tournament, I think he's in pretty good standing. But um, if you get beat first round and they lose today, there's probably a chance that he might not be there next year. And, and that's just the way college basketball and football are. And, and you know, you're only as good as your last game. And, and when you lose to your rival, it makes it worse. And then if you go out, you know, if they lose two games pretty early on in that SEC tournament – I think that there will be some rumblings. Jay, who do you like in the SEC tournament? Is it Kentucky hands down? It isn't for me. I'm a, I, I tell you, the two teams that I like the most right now are both out of the state of Tennessee. Uh, um, when those two teams are playing their best, they, they can really beat anybody. I love Vanderbilt. I think that Vanderbilt has, a, um, and to me, they're my favorite going into this tournament. Um, they got the hometown crowd. The game's going to be up in uh, Nashville. The tournament's up there, so I think they got – I think they got some advantages with there, but you know those guys—they've—they've they've, they've done a great job all season. I like the way they play the game. Um, I, I'm leaning on Vanderbilt. I think that uh, Kentucky can can uh, be beat, but obviously they're the favorite going into it. But um, I like Vanderbilt and Tennessee. I think both those teams have—I um, think they've had great seasons, and I think when they're lighting it up, that they're really unstoppable. Hey, great stuff, like always. We appreciate your time and. Um, Best of luck to you with the speaking engagement. It's great to hear that, okay? And uh, we'll talk to you again soon, and you have a great weekend. All right, you guys too. Hey, we're redoing SEC Sports Report. I should have a new uh, site up here within the next two weeks, so I hope you guys will check it out. All right, certainly, Jay. Looking Thank forward to it. Thanks so much, Jay. Thanks. Thank you. Warm weather's day. coming, Jay. <laughs> I hope so. Thanks so much. Jay Holgate of SEC Sports Report. Com. We're moving along here Saturday morning. Dr. Z, Paul Chestnut with you. Let's take a quick break. You're listening to Saturday Sports Blitz on News Radio 1620. About a year ago, my car got pelted with...